What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video we're going to be playing some top ladder end of the season here, there's only about a couple days left, and I'm going to be running Electro Giant. So it's been a while since I made a video on Electro Giant, it turns out it's very strong in this current meta, and it even has the mirror in it, and the mirror recently ended up getting a small nerf, but the Phoenix is just so broken, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, turns out the mirror is still quite viable with it. You got the cannon, you got the bomber, which are going to be pretty good on defense, especially paired with the tornado, and then of course you can use the tornado to pull things into the electro giant, and then even more so with the golden knight, the tornado combinations, absolutely insane. You can nato things close to the tower, so the golden knight is able to dash on top of all of them, and then eventually end up dashing on the tower as well. If you guys want to support me, code boss in any super game, you guys already know, and yeah, right now I'm currently 102nd in the world, I'll show you it on the uh, leaderboard too, because obviously it's a little different, um, trying to navigate towards myself okay yeah there we go 102nd in the world and then we won our last one two three four five games so pretty decent win streak let's try to keep it going all right so we found our first game here and what i noticed about this new ladder system is you find the game so much faster before it would take me a minute to find the game sometimes when i was even in the top 200 but now i find the games always within i feel like 15 seconds at most which i guess is pretty cool i don't know how they ended up doing that maybe the you know, range or radius of people you can find is slightly different than it was before, because obviously in this new system, or if you guys haven't seen, there's been like plus 50s and stuff like that, or you could like lose 50 trophies because you face people who are just so low. So I don't really know, but um, it's um, it's interesting for sure. So I'm going to go E-Giant in the back. Uh, I, I, okay, so he's going to be running E-Giant as well. I was not expecting that because when someone has something like an Axie, you don't normally expect them to have an Electro Giant. So, interesting variation by him. Curious what the rest of his cards are. I don't know if he's got a building or not. Or not. I guess we will find out. Luckily, we are able to take out that Xe, which is really good. Because that could have been kind of a problem if it stayed alive and ended up getting a ton of value against my E-Giant. And this defense should be pretty easy for us here. Not have to overcommit too much. Golden Knight is just to kind of tank for that Phoenix because... If that Phoenix gets on top of your tower, you guys already know how much damage it does. It's kind of crazy. So the Phoenix is still going to stay in front. We're just going to deal with his Monk here. And then I'm probably just going to go ahead and send a E-Giant in front. And then I might consider going in for a Mirror with my Electro Giant if he spends a lot of Elixir to defend this one. We'll see what he does. I'm actually going to NATO in this Xe because I think we can kill it right here. And then if we do, we might maybe oh that's so good um unfortunately ah never mind i was gonna say we would get the egg to hatch but the bar barrel does end up taking it out that was a pretty good defense by him gotta give him credit there i think i'm just gonna go for a golden knight just to kite back the phoenix just go for the dash to force a response immediately out of him and he's gonna ignore the golden knight that is a massive massive mistake by him i feel like i do not know why he just ignored that golden knight. I have to go E-Giant because I really need to take out this monk. Um, or ideally, he just needs to use that ability before I go for the cannon. Because it's really good against buildings, if you guys didn't know, that monk ability. It pretty much takes out a cannon and a bomb tower really quickly. Same with a mortar as well. You do not want that to happen. Looking like we're going to win this pretty much a mirror match here to kick things off this video. It felt pretty easy. Maybe it was just a good matchup for us because I don't even know if he had a building. We have a cannon, but if he didn't have a building, makes the matchup quite, you know, like, quite advantageous for us. Don't, yeah, I mean, because, like, let's look. Curious, only plus 19, he was lower than us by quite a bit. Yeah, he didn't have a building. That's why it's super easy, right? We had that cannon for three elixir, pretty much fully counters an electro giant, whereas he didn't have that. He had only Xe, he had Phoenix and stuff, which all is kind of weak to a lightning, and I was able to utilize, you know, that lightning a couple times, and then NATO everything together, and that was really good. So we won six games in a row, let's keep it up. And actually, I just realized the game before we're against E-Giant too, so E-Giant's kind of everywhere right now. We're 74th in the world, let's go. Found a game against Hajime, and oh my gosh, he's at 2,618 right now. A win would probably give me, I want to say, I don't know for sure, but I feel like it would probably give me like 40 trophies something like that and i don't know what rank he is he's probably like top i don't know he's got to be in the top 10 but i i almost feel like he's in the top five even he's really high up jeez man 
Looking like going to be kind of a rough matchup though, because he's got the bomb tower, which is not really what you want to see when you're running Electro Giant. I would say it's one of the best buildings against it. We can, of course, you know, still work our way around it. I just think it's quite, um, I guess you could say, oh wow, he messed up the king activation. That's actually potentially like a game costing mistake, because look at how much damage we just dealt. That was kind of wild. Um, also kind of interesting that he decided to... Hmm, that was very weird that he went for a minor in the other lane. I don't really think that that was a very good play at all. So, oh my gosh, he's playing horrible. What is he doing? Look at this. We're already going to win. The egg might even hatch as well. Barely doesn't, but what is Hajime doing? And I just want to remind you guys, he's insanely high up right now. He's in the... Like, basically, he's got to be in the top five, and he's making these mistakes. I'm I'm kind of in disbelief right now. Like, what even happened? He already made, like, three mistakes. He misclicked a bomb tower. That minor in the left was horrible. It was a huge overcommitment. And we already pretty much won. I mean, we just have to defend, and this game is already already a wrap. Pretty crazy. I mean, I cannot say I at all was anticipating this outcome but that's what it looks like unless like a miracle comes out for him yeah wow i i i can't believe it but cool i mean can't complain right i i actually i'm well maybe excited to see how many points i get after this game so we're just gonna get an e-giant down in both lanes to like block the know the the bridge obviously unfortunately his phoenix is gonna lock on so i'm just gonna go for my own just so it doesn't take like literally my whole tower he's only got like 25 seconds though so i don't know what he's gonna do i'm probably just gonna get a golden knight down and all we need to do is lightning and yeah that's pretty much it so just going for a block here with the e-giant and then get our lightning ready I don't even think he could lightning block with goblins, but like even if he did, I would just mirror the lightning and yeah, it's gonna be GG. Somehow we completely destroyed him at the beginning, and like I said, I don't even think that that's good that good of a matchup. I forgot if I we got 45. Oh my god. Wow, that like that is kind of crazy. I did not think we would win by that much. Yeah, so Hajime, yeah, that's what I thought. He was in the top five. Look at that. He was because he had 26 18 and yeah he would have been in fifth place so now muhammad light is in fifth instead of him because he dropped below quite a bit that's that's wild i mean i'm 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 hyped right now one two three four five six seven seven wins in a row let's go let's see our ranking we're top 40 now we jumped so much from that when we moved all the way from like 74th to top 40 that's nuts all right found our next one here against this japanese player so, he's going to start with a Heal Spirit. I think I'm just going to... Alright, yeah, we'll just Lightning the Elixir Collector, I guess. There's a good chance he might mirror it, and then I guess if he does, then... Oh, well, there's not really anything we can do about it, but... Maybe he's not going to. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll just kind of see what he does. Um, okay, he's going to go for a Log. So, Log, Elixir Collector. Can't really say for sure what we're against right now um there's a lot of just kind of like phoenix decks of all different kinds and it's kind of hard to like pinpoint what which one it is exactly i'm thinking maybe there's a chance it's 3m but it's already not looking like it now because he you know like i don't know just a 3m deck would be a little odd i feel like with what he's got but you know i wouldn't say it's eh, no nah, he probably doesn't have one it's probably like just who knows at this point anyway i'm gonna go for a e giant here it's you know pretty aggressive but i guess it actually is gonna end up being a pretty decent play because uh whoa i did not expect him to do that but he does get the king activated um nato and then mirrored it okay i mean even trade but we got a good amount of damage on the tower before he was able to do that kind of unfortunate though i didn't get my phoenix eggs to hatch that would have been pretty clutch but sadly you know we're unable to do that and he's gonna pump up again so i'm kind of you know i don't know if i should lightning when he's already got a collector down i feel like we just gotta 
unfortunately, because he's going to get an elixir anyway when I lightning it, so I just feel like it's kind of not worth it, especially when it's in the other lane. Um, kind of a bad phoenix, I would say, because my tower is able to, yeah, you know, target it, but, um, yeah, we're going to go in here, see what he wants to do. Uh, maybe I'll go for a Mirror E-Giant as well, just kind of keep the pressure on. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Oh, nice, the NATO actually helped me look at that. It pulls it. That ends up helping me a lot. Good log by him, though. Uh, oh, yeah, let's Lightning this for sure. This is going to be very good value for me. The Collector felt like desperation. Oh, my gosh, he just mirrored a... That is ridiculous. He just mirrored... Oh, my gosh. Gosh, what is happening right now? The last couple games were absolutely wild. Like, we destroyed Hajime so early on, and this guy, like, he just went for an Elixir Collector on defense and mirrored it. Like, I can't even say how many times I've seen that before. He just played... What is going on right now with our opponents we're against right now? This is, like, so wild, man. Jeez, well, like, what have these games been? And yeah, obviously we win with the Mirrored Lightning. And... GG. What the heck was that game? I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen someone go for two Elixir Collectors on defense. I've seen people go for one, obviously, like out of desperation, but two? That's got to be the first time I've seen someone mirror Collector, unless they're like trolling, but like in an actual game. Nah, man. 31st in the world, eight game win streak. Found our next one here against this Japanese player. See what this guy's got. Go ahead and give him the good luck. Good luck from both sides. Kind of, you know, love the good sportsmanship. So we'll just go ahead and cycle Bomber in the back, see what he wants to do in response. And he's going to go for a Monk. So probably our best course of action here just be to cycle a Phoenix the same lane. So... Elixir Golem, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, you got to fully focus on defense, I guess. All right, good lightning. Fortunately, the egg is gonna... Wait a minute. Actually, let's go for... Oh, no. Oh, wait, I think... Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I was gonna say mine wins because it's level... Nice! That was... Oh, nice, nice. And my egg is gonna hatch... This might already be GG, actually. He has not a lot of elixir right now. I think we already won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what are these games? Guys, are you guys as, like, surprised as I am? Probably more. I mean, what are these matches this latter season? Like, it, it feels so weird just destroying people in, like, the first push, and it's happening constantly. Like, I don't know, the last game, like, I mean, to be fair, Hajime made some misplays, but, like, bro, what incarnation is happening right now? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like three crowding people in the first push. What? What is this video? This feels too easy, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in a row. Last video I remember too, I think I got on a 10 game win streak. Is that about to happen again? We're higher up this time too. We're top 25 right now. All right, last game of the video. I don't even care if I lose. I mean, we won nine in a row. Like, I don't care at this point. Already doing phenomenal. Um, if we win this last one, we're likely going to be in the top 20, um, and we'll go undefeated this video. So, cool. See you guys when we find the last game. All right, guys. Final game of the video We're against Katassion. Got Golden Knight, Phoenix, and Cannon. I guess I'm going to go ahead and wait a couple seconds just to see if he wants to make the first play. But if he's not going to do anything, I suppose a Golden Knight in the back probably wouldn't be that risky because it's only four elixir and by the time he responds to it it's pretty much a three elixir golden knight so i'm just gonna do it um okay would have been better if i waited like half a second more because we would have been able to deal with the goblin gang but whatever it is what it is i guess i'm gonna golden knight get it in front so it tanks for the phoenix um and all right see what he does from there so monk is going down let's go that's good don't have to deal with it i guess i'm gonna go for an e-giant here just to deal with the phoenix he's likely got a mortar so obviously gonna be a pretty you know 
tough matchup. Try to manage the best we can, though, obviously. Uh, had to kind of NATO that away, but still, unfortunately, took a ton of damage. So this can be similar to the deck that uh, Hajime used, which, of course, is a pretty challenging matchup. That was a very good Lightning, though, because, like I said, against Hajime, the reason why we destroyed him at the beginning was because he misclicked that bomb tower and he also went for a miner that was over aggressive but in this type of situation with the start we had you guys are seeing right now why it's kind of not that easy especially in single because you can't really keep up with their cycle he's got a much faster cycle than i do so it's pretty hard to break through with the electro giant when he's got that bomb tower to deal with it but with that being said it is far from over we certainly can find a way to make a comeback in this match probably will not be easy but you know we can do it. We can do it. Finally, he goes with the bomb towers. Hoping he'd played earlier, because then I maybe would have mirrored the uh, the e giant. Sadly, he did not, though. Very unfortunate. Going in, though. See what we can do here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get a much out of this, sadly. I think this is GG. We didn't have that good start we had against Hajime. And as a result, we're really kind of suffering here. Like, there's not really much we can do. I feel like the only way we win this is with a uh, a really good Golden Knight NATO. Or maybe he, like, misclicks a bomb tower. Something along those lines. Otherwise, it ain't looking too good right now. It ain't looking too good, sadly. Yeah, even... Yeah, the, the bomb towers... This is why I don't even know how I beat Hajime, and that's why I was kind of surprised. Because this is, like, really hard. I mean... Like, I really shouldn't be able to break through... I think what happened was we just had that incredible start in single at game before, but that's like not supposed to happen. This game, what's happening now is what's usually supposed to happen when you play the matchup. Because um, he's not even doing anything that special. Like, of course he's playing well, but like, I, I, you know, there's not just, there's not really much I can even do. So, it's kind of, you know, it's just kind of a hard counter, if you like. But, uh, yeah, um, kind of a boring game, but whatever, I guess. Still an incredible video. As I said, even if I lost this game, didn't really care that much because we won nine games in a row. We made it into the top 25, which is really solid. So even though we're going to lose a ton here, I don't mind too much. It's not really the end of the world. I'm going to probably, after this, upload this and go to sleep anyway. And we still got two more days of the season left, so try to go for a good finish, see what we can do. I'm kind of alright with the meta. Um, I think, like, I'm decent with a lot of the decks that are solid in the meta, so try to maybe go for a good finish. I don't know what I'm going to run yet. I know that RG is an option. Um, maybe this E-Giant deck. As you guys saw, there were a ton of other people running E-Giant. In fact, we played against a couple in this video, so that really shows you how strong it is. And then before I even started recording, I played against it, so super super solid in this meta make sure to give it a try if you like using e-giant or are just looking for a deck that is super super strong right now so we end the video 40th top 40 in the world not bad at all we were top 25 really really solid push and yeah we'll see what we use for the last couple days of season because as i already showed yeah there's like a couple days left and we'll see what we can do what finish we can get Make sure to like the video if you guys did end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. And thank you again. Until next time, guys.